Hi, I'm Jenny Phillips. I'm excited to walk you through the Good and the Beautiful Level 2 Language Arts course today. We offer this beautiful, inexpensive physical course to purchase, but you can also download the entire course for free at goodandbeautiful.com. There is meaning and power that comes into learning when a course is connected to God, family, nature, beautiful art, and strong moral values. This course connects all of these things as it combines the following subjects into one easy to teach, no prep time course. Phonics, reading, spelling, writing, grammar and punctuation, literature, art, poetry, and geography. The level two course set comes with three components, the 368 page full color course book, the Reading Booster C cards, and the Reading Booster C book set. The Reading Booster C book set includes two full-length chapter books, Wesley and the Wolves and Molly and the Falcon. Okay, I'm gonna explain how the Reading Booster C cards and book set work, and then we'll dive into the course book. The Reading Booster C cards have 64 cardstock pages and two sticker sheets. Each card focuses on a certain phonics principle or a group of sight words. The course directs you to work on booster cards with your child for about eight to 12 minutes before most lessons. You can usually practice one to three cards in eight to 12 minutes. Once a card is mastered, have the child select a sticker from the back of the booster cards and place it on the mastered circle at the bottom of the card. Review cards are placed intermittently throughout the set of cards. These beautiful and fun reading booster cards also tell you when to read the reading booster C books. The chapters in each of these books correlate directly with each card. For example, at the bottom of card 43, it says, with the child, read chapter 10 of the Reading Booster C book, Molly and the Falcon. Each chapter gives a student repeated practice with the phonics principles they have just learned. The Booster C books are designed for the parent and the student to read together. This symbol shows a section for the parent or teacher to read. And then this symbol shows a section for the student to read. This approach allows a student to have breaks from reading and thus be able to read for a longer period of time. In addition, this approach allows the books to dive into more complex and interesting plots. Our pilot children absolutely loved reading these books. In addition to giving targeted phonic practice, these books are also designed to share inspiring messages and help children love literature that is well-written and full of beautiful imagery. All right, let's look at the course book. The lessons in the course book are carefully designed to reduce teaching time, yet to be academically robust, exceeding national standards. Each lesson also includes a practice section that the student completes independently. Let's move to the course book lessons. The course book is divided into three units with 40 lessons each. There is a review at the end of each unit. In lesson 32, the child practices reading words with EY which he or she has already learned in the Reading Booster cards. Do you see the numbered target symbol in this lesson? The child should have mastered reading booster cards through this number before starting the lesson. Your child learns the phonics principles through the booster cards before reviewing and further practicing those principles in the course book. Some children may need to occasionally pause lessons to work more on the Reading Booster cards. You can move through the booster cards as quickly as desired. Children often learn to read words faster than they can learn to write or spell those words. And the reading shouldn't be slowed down by writing, spelling, or grammar. This program allows children to excel while reading at their own pace, not at the pace of other subjects such as spelling. If a child finishes the reading booster C cards before completing the course, the child can use the extra time to increase reading skills by reading books that are one to two levels higher than his or her personal reading level. All right, I'll quickly walk you through this example lesson. The first thing lesson 32 has you do is practice reading booster cards with a child for eight to 12 minutes. Then the lesson has you say words aloud to the child and the child spells them. These words contain principles such as silent E, ING, and AY that are mastered during the unit and throughout the course. Then you are prompted to dictate a sentence to the child. This means that you say a sentence aloud. The child writes a sentence on the next page. No need for extra paper or a whiteboard. We have included space for sentence dictation right in the lesson. 
the sentence practices concepts that are mastered throughout the course, but it also gives the child practice with starting and ending sentences correctly, having proper spacing between words, not using random capital letters in words, and so on. You then play a simple but fun butterfly game with the child to practice reading words with EY. Then the child completes the independent practice section. At the end of most lessons, the student is prompted to read a book of choice for at least 20 minutes. This can be done any time of the day or evening. Let's take a look at lesson 73. After practicing the reading booster cards, the course instructs you to practice the unit spelling words together, followed by sentence dictation, which the child writes at the bottom of the page. Both spelling words and sentence dictation contain principles that are mastered in the course. Next, the child quickly reads a chart of words to review a phonics principle recently learned. You then do an interactive fun activity to learn about root words. This activity also integrates logic, phonics, and geography, like many other lessons in the course. For the independent practice section of this lesson, the child practices a spelling rule and listens to an audio narration, which is quickly accessible on our free Good and Beautiful Homeschooling app. These art appreciation audio narrations are one of the things that pilot children and parents loved about this course. The child listens to the narration while looking at the painting in the course book. Through these narrations, the child learns how to study a painting and how to write about it using model language. Creating wonderful writers doesn't come from worksheets. It's a whole heart and mind approach that takes years of exposing the child to beautiful language and effective writing instruction that pushes the child to think, to dig deeper, and to learn what makes writing beautiful. I was determined, as were other creators of this course, to create writing assignments that would not make children melt down, but instead would get them excited and confident about writing. Even for reluctant writers, I have to say that I do believe that we have achieved this and it was exciting to see how much our pilot children love these writing exercises. For this creative writing corner, the child has the help of a sentence framework to create the beginning of a story based on the setting scene in the painting. The child uses his or her imagination to fill in the blanks in the story and then to finish the rest of the paragraph. This exercise is not overwhelming, but gets them to fill in descriptive words, use imagination, and to write. We use this same approach for essays throughout the course. The child writes many essays on how to make a bed, uh, which is a process essay, and what they like about school, which is an opinion essay. They also do fun creative writing corners where they fill out character charts and create poetry through guided poetry activities. The child also completes oral narration activities in which the child writes summaries, fictional stories, and a personal narrative. So let's quickly look at a lesson that uses the Letter Tiles app. In lesson 77, before doing a page of reading, the child uses the Letter Tile app to practice words you are studying in this unit, such as silent E. Let's take a look at one last lesson. After practicing reading booster cards and books in lesson 85, the child practices spelling words that are a review from level one. This course effectively uses both a mastery and a spiral approach, with some key material being mastered before moving on, but with other concepts being built upon step by step. Concepts are reviewed not only from unit to unit, but from course level to course level. The child then practices words with spelling concepts being learned in the unit. In addition to doing a map activity and another spelling activity that integrates the lesson's fun theme, you and the child then watch a beautiful art book and then have a short book response discussion. Books like these can be found quickly on our free Good and Beautiful homeschooling app and are used to teach geography or art principles 10 times throughout the course. At the end of the lesson, 85, the child completes a homophone practice section and then an art project inspired by the artist they studied in the lesson. Art projects are included only occasionally in the course to give the child basic exposure and practice with drawing and painting. For some of these art projects, there are videos on the homeschooling app that give step-by-step -step instructions. I'll end the video with a look at some other pages in the course book 
Be sure to notice the Nature Journal reading comprehension sections, which were hands down the pilot children's favorite sections in the course. It is always amazing when children get so excited about nature and reading and learning.